So how do you earn income on the road as a nomad? That's a question I get asked somewhat regularly, uh, both in comments and by email and things, and sometimes a person. Uh, it's a topic that's important to a lot of uh, people who are either new nomads or who are thinking about getting on the road, they're wanting to get on the road, and they're just not sure how they're going to support themselves financially when they do it. Many people who get on the road now are younger, they're looking for a little more than what they feel they're going to get from the traditional uh, career path in America. Um, Again, that's highly subjective in terms of what works for you, what's important to you, but a lot of people are looking for a little more. Uh, there was an idea uh, in years past people might do a gap year before they uh, went to college or before they started their career after college, and they take a little time to, to do some things. And so what people are looking at now a little more is, hey, how can I uh, have a little more adventurous life, get to travel some more, go to more places, uh, and either permanently or just for a longer period of time. Uh, and also you're finding people who are older, but they're not retirement age, and they don't have enough money to retire, but they're wanting to uh, do something different. Maybe they've always wanted to travel. Maybe they just want to be able to go with the seasons and enjoy better weather. That, I, that's part of the reason I do this. Um, and another part is just because I like to travel. I don't like to sit in one place. Um, and I like to have these different adventures I'm able to have, and so this works better for me. So there's a lot of reasons people do it, but for many people, either they're younger or they're just not quite middle-aged or, or late middle-aged and just not quite able to retire yet, and so they need to know, figure out how to make money on the road. Now, this could be a weird idea if you're used to traditional employment. If you spent your whole career thus far in traditional employment, this just, just could be a strange idea. Like, how do you do this, you know? Uh, it's bad enough figuring out how to live in a van or how to live in an RV or whatever the case may be, but how on earth do you go about uh, making a living on the road as a nomad while you're traveling about and moving to different places if you can't have a regular job? Because uh, let's face it, if you just get a series of regular jobs and quit after a month or a few months, after a very short time, it'll be hard to get a job anywhere at all because of that. So I'm going to break this uh, down. I'm going to do this as a short series uh, because otherwise it's going to be a really, really long video and probably parts of it will be boring to just about everybody because it's things you're not interested in doing. So the, the, there's going to be four, seri four parts of the series. Uh, the first one is going to be on nomad freelancing gigs. That is freelance gigs that are location independent that you can do uh, at different places. You can take the work with you as you go. Uh, the next, second one will be popular work camping gigs. Uh, and that is that there's, there's plenty of short-term jobs you can get that are, will allow you to support yourself on the road and in different places as you move about and some of them have proven to be quite popular with nomads so we'll look at those in the second video third video we'll look at alternatives to popular work camping gigs because let's face it the popular ones aren't going to work for everybody so I'll try and provide some alternatives to those popular gigs for those who uh, are looking for something different but are just looking for more of a traditional employment thing just things that you can do on the road uh, the fourth video we'll look at uh, nomad businesses that is small businesses uh, micro businesses that are location independent that you can do wherever you happen to be you can take with you as you go to different places uh, which is really important so we'll look at some of those but basically like I said it's gonna be a four-part video series at least um, and it's going to be one video per week, roughly. So those of you who are not interested in this topic, you're, you're retired or disabled and not looking to have to earn money on the road, or maybe you just watch this channel because you like the nature videos, the travel videos I put up, and you're not really interested in this, I won't bore you for a whole week or two with just these videos. So it'll be broken up over a period. There is a chance I'll add a few more videos to that, particularly if, you have, uh, if I have requests from... Uh, viewers and it's on topics that I feel like I can uh, address in a way that has value uh, so there may be some more and I'll put them all into a single playlist as well so that it's you can you can find them and look at them all and then even if it only ends up being the four videos now I may add more in the future and they'll all end up on that same playlist so you can come back to it at a later date and and look through all the videos in that series this is how I support myself on the road um, I'm late 40s and yeah, I got to work still. And um, even if I didn't have to work still, I'd want to work still probably. <laughs> um, I do work that I enjoy doing and I find meaningful. So for the most part. So, um, you know, this is something that I do. Uh, I know a lot of other people who are doing this as well. There's, there's just a growing number of people on the road who are still working to support themselves. Um, some of them are just really young, haven't had a chance to build savings yet. Others are 
middle-aged and they've lost their retirement or a lot of their savings because of the market crash or something or their company closed and then you know that affected their retirement whatever it is so many different reasons uh, that this comes up these days our economy is changing in a lot of ways and th th it just is and for lots of reasons and so a lot of people used to be able to count on the fact that they could go to work do a good job and they'd have a steady paycheck and medical insurance benefits and vacation benefits and retirement benefits and for a lot of people this is turning out to not be the case anymore either they can't even get into those jobs in the first place or if they can get into them uh, the company closes or just scales back and lays off massive amounts of workers and a growing number of older workers are finding they cannot afford to retire uh, their social security is not enough maybe their 401k was just decimated with in a, in a the recession and hasn't recovered and so there's just a lot of reasons that people are on the road but finding it necessary to still work and earn a living whether it's a full-time income or a part-time income to supplement or to stretch things out they're still finding it necessary to work so we're going to talk about that in this series, uh, Income on the Road. Uh, hope it'll be helpful to a lot of you who are, are uh, either on the road to try to figure this out or you're, you're thinking about getting on the road for the first time and you're just not sure how to do some of these things. And it's like I said, it can be a pretty weird idea if you're used to traditional employment. So uh, we'll go over some of that. I hope it'll be helpful to you and make it uh, more possible if this is something you want to do uh, to get on the road. Even if you want to do this as a, a, a few years and then go back to a traditional lifestyle or if you want to do this more or less permanently. Either way, I hope this will be helpful to you as you're preparing to get on the road or thinking about getting on the road. At least it'll help you understand your options. And if you are definitely going to do this or you're starting to do this now, it'll hopefully uh, help you be successful by figuring out some uh, some ideas that may help you uh, make income on the road. And I'm far from the only one who has uh, videos about this. The only nomad has videos about this. Um, but what I can't bring to this is the fact that I this is actually how I support myself because I have to work on the road too. So I'm bringing this perspective of somebody who actually is doing this uh, to this video series and I hope it'll be helpful to you. So stay tuned for these. It's going to be about one a week, probably on Fridays I think or Saturdays whenever I, you know, depending on how my workload goes for the week when I can get them up. But like I said, at least four more coming up. Uh, nomad freelancing gigs, popular work camping options for nomads, alternatives to popular work camping options, and nomad businesses that you can do on the road. So stay tuned for those. Hope this series is helpful to you, and we'll see you in the next video, everybody.